everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game is an NFC North Divisional matchup featuring two really good wide receivers. It's Jordy Nelson going up against Alshon Jeffrey. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Larry. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look live there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at our matchup here. You've got to believe that this is a game that might be won in the trenches. Oh, without question. This is big person on big person, big unit against big unit. Meat on meat. Oh, you got it all. Pick your cliche. But we know this. The ground's going to shake. Things are going to rumble. And they're going to have an impact on today's game. This is taken near the 13. And he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers bringing out the offense here and the Packers whole season in 2017 obviously went south against the Vikings week six that was the collarbone injury to Aaron Rodgers he came back again Panthers thought they might recover, couldn't get into the playoffs. It was a strange season in Green Bay, wasn't it? It certainly was, and now there have been a lot of changes since the season ended in Green Bay because there will be a new offensive coordinator. There will be a new defensive coordinator. Obviously, there are going to be some new players that are coming in. But as long as Aaron Rodgers is piloting this team, they will remain a contender if he's healthy. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. And a wide receiver to watch in this offense, certainly Jordy Nelson. And most defenses watch him run past them. Jordy Nelson can run every route in the route tree and take it. No score just yet in this first quarter of action, but we have the offense in the red zone as they've got it here first and ten. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Torrey Smith, the intended receiver. And it's third down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. This is caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover. <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Wins to throw again. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's third down. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? More knowing them and knowing what we just seen. I think they're throwing. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt. test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? Now 
the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Now Wentz on third down. And he connects with Ertz. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for first down. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And Elliott puts this one through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. I feel like we just ran a marathon. That was... Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. Wentz going to try and throw on third. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 54 yards away. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Let's see what this defense can do here. Ball at the 18-yard line in the red zone. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Montgomery hit, and the ball is loose. Just inside of two minutes for this offense, second quarter. They've got the football, but on their own side of the field. The Eagles will take over here in just a second on offense. And Charles, as you look back to the Super Bowl title run that they just had, what were some of the moves that made that possible? I'll keep it on the offensive side of the ball because I thought their front office did a fantastic job of having answers in case things happen. Carson Wentz goes out. Well, they had signed Nick Foles to back him up. That worked out pretty well. <laughs> Getting Alshon Jeffrey as a weapon outside to help them in the passing game. Darren Sproles gets hurt at running back. Corey Clement was signed as an undrafted free agent. He filled in well, and they traded for Jay Ajayi. And how about Jason Peters losing the all-world left tackle? And Halapul Vate Vaitai, who they drafted the year before, filled in quite capably. They had answers for everything they needed. Wentz going to throw. Hurts over the middle. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there on 20 yards. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A nice gain of 21 yards. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height setting back there in the pocket, firing over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. 
the way he's been slinging it in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. They'll toss it to Ajayi. Showed some tough running, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get the third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. They might think about going for it here, but it's still just the second quarter. Take the three points, tell the defense you believe in them, and let them get the ball back for you. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. A third down situation coming up in the third quarter, and this defense hoping to turn that third down into four. Now Wentz. Well, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the truck of the 20. Well, the defense is in a better spot here than the offense as we drop you into a third and eight. Now the ball is in the red zone, but they need eight yards on third down. And he's got it. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards. So tough to cover a big tight end like that. It changes the chalk, as one of my coaches like to say, meaning the normal things don't apply. All right, used to say, okay, there's a tight end going out. We're either going to put a big linebacker on him or maybe a safety and call it a day. Now, because of the strength of that position and the sheer number of catches that they make as, as well as their dexterity, sometimes you have to put a quarterback on him because he might be the primary guy going out for a pass. It changes what they do defensively, and it's usually not good for the defense. You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively, you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. How about the defensive stand here from first and goal, three straight incompletion. Yeah, I think people are wondering why didn't they try and run it at least once in there. But once the first incompletion happened, it's almost like they were committed. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. Throwing now is Wentz. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will get the lead up to 14. No hesitation in this situation. Down a couple scores late in the game. This offense is staying out there on four. Now Rodgers got to have this one. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Adams. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Carson Wentz and the Eagles make their way out to the field. And Charles, he's already north of 300 yards. points put on the board so far by this offense now they're looking for more already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone now a play fake here on first down oh incomplete a turnover would have really helped there almost intercepted instead it's just second down 
he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Torrey Smith, an 11-yard touchdown. Nothing to lose now. This offense forced to go for it down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Mike McCarthy took the gamble. Didn't Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Throwing his wins. And it's caught. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. no good here as we drop you into this situation. Offense staying out there, and they are going on fourth down. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.